what's going on? This is Todd Pritch. Welcome to episode two of Coffee and Cores, where I drink coffee and break down some tasty chord progressions from some tasty tracks. This next one is Mac Miller, rest in peace to Mac. This request was from a subscriber. If you guys have any requests, comment them down below. I'm gonna get to it. Let's get into this. This is an outro, I think his track, Small Worlds. And I just love this. It's like a Jay Dilla-esque progression. Ooh, I've been a fool, but it's one sec. Hey. times out of 10 I get it wrong that's why I wrote this song tell myself it goes up hold on hold on I can feel my fingers slipping in a motherfucking instant I'll be gone do you want it all if it's all mediocre staring at the wall in a wall full of posters looking in my dreams who I want to be I guess you got to see it to believe who I've been a fool but the thing I love most about it is the bass kind of just chromatically going down <laughs> kind of does this little half step. So let's fill in those chords. Listen one more time. I'm gonna slow this down a little bit. Okay. Now, he keeps that common tone. Yeah. Something like that. But this chord. Yeah. And then it's it's some kind of like slash chord. It's jazzier though, it's jazzier. Yes, sir. And then these last two notes. Now, I heard this chord before. I played this in jazz tunes before. Something like, I forget, I forget the name of the jazz tune, but my ear recognized that. And then, something like that. Uh. Now with the lead tones. And then it goes up, listen. Right here. So it's gonna kind of do the same kind of similar drop down. Now this one's a little bit more dissonant than the third chord on the last one. But it's still got this. And then wall full of posters. That's a wild chord. Do you want it all if you saw me over? Stand at the wall in the wall full of posters. Looking at my dreams. I probably just something like that. Like one of those Hendrix chords, like the Roxy chords. I'm oh, sorry, Foxy. So. And then here it resolves, the bass comes in. Staring at the wall in the wall full of posters. Looking at my dreams. Just a major seven there. And then I'm gonna do the same kind of. Now, but this chord. Guess you gotta see it's who I wanna be. Guess you gotta nope, it's not major seven. It's dominant. 
That's beautiful. So the whole thing that second time. That's so tight. So I'm thinking it sounds just like hella tension chords right here. I guess you gotta see it to believe. Another tension chord. No. Yes, sir. Let's listen one more time. I think I got the whole thing. Nine times out of Starting the verse. That's why I wrote this song. Tell myself to hold on. I can feel my fingers slipping in a motherfucking instant. Now we're going I'm out. Gone. Do you want it all if it's all mediocre? Staring at the wall and a wall full of posters. Looking in my dreams. Who I want to be. I guess you got to see it to believe. Who I've been a Dope, so let's play this all the way through. If you guys are interested in learning my system, my formula for how I do this, how you can take a song that you're inspired by and turn it into your own chord progressions, riffs, or unique arrangements on the guitar inspired by the music that you love, comment down below in this video or shoot me a DM on Instagram, that's at Todd Pritch. I'll send you a free 30 minute lesson where I actually break down a song in detail and show you my process step by step. <laughs> that. So that's episode two of Coffee and Chords. Thank you so much for joining me. Please like and subscribe if you want more of this content and I'll see you next time. Peace.